If you are anything like me and believe that vitamin D from the sun is the very best vitamin, welcome to The Go Show. <laughs> and you can, of course, follow along with a video on Facebook.com forward slash The Go Show with Mike Russell and on Instagram at The Go Show with Mike Russell. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We are uh, one weekend away from the absolute madness known as Black Friday and the first official weekend of Christmas shopping season. So, uh, yeah, it's here. Uh, it comes this way every single year. It shouldn't sneak up on you. It shouldn't surprise you. But you know something? Your Uncle Mike's got you hooked up. Your Uncle Mike's got you all connected. We're going to talk about the, uh, the basics of giving Christmas gifts to your favorite outdoors man or woman in your life. And it, we're just going to cover the basics because the next few weeks... We'll go over a little bit more advanced, maybe some products that, that I'm excited about, products that I'll be giving this year, products that I'll be asking for. And by the way, the right way to ask for things and the right way to give things. So we're going to cover the basics today. And check this noise out. We have in our second hour, very special guest, former director of your Arizona Game and Fish Department, Larry Voiles, will be here. The director, that was El Jefe. The boss himself, the man that reported to the governor, the man that at the very top of it all, he was there for years. He is now retired from the department and he is now the president of Wildlife for Tomorrow. So we're going to introduce you to Wildlife for Tomorrow and we're going to dig into detail about really how that organization works. I, I'm not Wildlife for Tomorrow, I'm talking about Arizona Game and Fish Department. And, uh, and he's now handed the reins over to a very capable Ty Gray. And we're very excited for uh, the future for the department as well. And we're very thankful for his service in the past and what he has done for the department and in conservation for the great state of Arizona. If you're just joining us, we, we celebrate all things outdoors in this beautiful outdoor playground of a state that we live in. And the front line of that is the Arizona Game and Fish Department. I think it is, it's misnamed. I don't think it should be called the Game and Fish Department. It should be called the Arizona Department of Conservation because they are tasked with managing more animal species than any other non-coastal state in the nation. And when I say animal species, I'm not talking about hunting, uh, huntable game. I'm talking about 800 unique species uh, for, for Arizona. So it's it, not unique to Arizona, but just their individual, 800 individual species. So it's very exciting to talk to a person who has run that organization and talk to him about conservation and talk to him about, uh, about his steps that he took and what he passed to Director Gray. So it's going to be a fun second hour. I do encourage you to, uh, to, to check it out. Stay tuned. Uh, if you miss any part of it and you got to run, you got to do something. I, I get it. Totally understand. We will load the podcast as well, so it will be available for your listening pleasure on Fox Sports uh, 910 and on 550kfy.com. You can find those, or you can find it on the free iHeartRadio app. So once again, thanks for being here. We got a loaded show. Once again, we're talking about gifts, and we'll have Director Voiles, now President Voiles, uh, right here in studio. So it's going to be an exciting time. I encourage you to stick around. Now... I'm a big Thanksgiving fan. I do. I, 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 because I think I do it right. I don't cook turkey. I think turkey is nonsense. We talked about that last week. And if you don't believe me about this turkey is nonsense, let me ask you this. If you go into the grocery store this week, what do you see in the meat section? Just frozen turkeys on top of frozen turkeys like Egyptian pyramids, right? Do you see that any other time of year? Hmm... No. So if you like having turkey so much, you like preparing turkey so much, and it's so easy, as my mom would put it. So easy. Why do, how, how many times have you had turkey this year? Exactly. Yes, it, it's just you have to have to I think I do it right. We have, we have a, a standing rib roast, and it is fantastic. It's meat. It's potatoes. And all the other stuff that you have, you know, the stuffing and all that, it's all there. Don't worry, have it. I know it's not actual stuffing. It's just stuffing the bird. But it's okay. We can serve game meat. We can have elk. We can have uh, we can have dove. We can have quail. I mean, make dove appetizers. I mean, we're going all in. And speaking of dove, 
It is the first weekend of the second half of Top Season! That is right. It is going to be so much fun to have four days to dedicate to dove hunting because I love dove hunting. And a lot of you uh, might roll your eyes and say, oh yeah, dove, more dove poppers and things like that. Get creative. I'm going to encourage you to do two things. Take the culinary, uh, the culinary attitude of Thanksgiving weekend, okay? Because let's, let's be real. It's, you're planning this giant meal for several people. And then you have all of these leftovers. And then it's, okay, it's either turkey sandwiches or we are going to have to get creative. My, uh, my, my friend Pamela, she actually makes, uh, takes the leftover stuffing and makes waffles. Makes stuffing waffles. Get creative like that. Get creative, but use that creativity and that kind of the, the ambiance. Not ambiance. What, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the, just the, the attitude of the weekend. The setting of the weekend. The culinary setting. And expand your mind and your palate and your cooking ability when it comes to dove and game meat. So do the same thing. Get excited, do some research, try some new recipes. Because just that just popped into my giant nugget right there is I'm going to serve Dove as an appetizer for Thanksgiving. Why didn't I think of that? I haven't done that before. So I'm going to serve Dove appetizers because I know that the next day I'm going to be out at my amazing Dove spot and I'm, I'm just going to fill the freezer back up again. 15 Dove at a time. Yay! Except for the Eurasians, then we're, we're just going to go all day with those. So my freezer is going to be refilled, so why not just blow it on Thanksgiving appetizers? So I think that's, a, that's something we're going to try. It's, it's not going to be just dove poppers, maybe a little bit dove kebabs, or maybe a little, yeah, we'll do something. And I'll post it, you know me. I'm going to post it on social media, it's going to happen. But the second thing I'm going to encourage you to do, the first of course, is get creative culinarily with your game meat over the holidays. Take that inspiration from Thanksgiving. That was the word I was looking for. The inspiration, the culinary inspiration, and, and move it into the rest of the weekend. The second is to start planning now. Because we have, and once again, I'm gonna say this, the best way to introduce anyone to hunting is dove season. It's easy, they're plentiful, it's inexpensive, it's safer than a lot of things, and it's, it's just a lot less work, let's be honest. So start planning your newbie selection. I was lucky enough this week, I had a uh, lunch with, well not lunch, we went and grabbed a happy hour drink uh, with Michael Marinello. He was one of my newbies from last season. So we've already got it down and ready to go. This, this is his sophomore season. And by the way, I, I'll tell you this, and you can check it out on our YouTube page. He limited out the first time he went dove hunting. And I think it might have been the second or third time the guy's ever shot a shotgun in his life. And he limited out day one. So I, I had to remind him. I, I, I had to manage his expectations. Look, your sophomore outing might not be as plentiful. So just be ready for that. Don't be frustrated because you, you hit the top of the mountain like day one. So once again, I'm getting my sophomore class together and getting the newbies lined up as well. Uh, one of the newbies I have right here at, uh, at the station is, is Bo Brock from The Bo Show. Yeah, The Go Show and The Bo Show. We, we, yeah, we didn't really plan that out so well. So Bo Brock's never been hunting before, but Bo has married into one of the big Arizona hunting families, the Spragues, yes, from Sprague Sports down in Yuma. So uh, he needs to learn to hunt quickly or probably get bounced from that family. How do you say it's okay to marry your daughter if you have a hunting family? It's okay to marry your daughter. The guy's never hunted before. <sighs> he is a really good kid. He's a really good kid. He really is. He's a nice guy, and uh, he, he just he loves being married. He loves that woman very much. So it's, it's good, and hopefully we can get him into the hunting fold. So he is my target newbie. And a few other people here from the, uh, the radio stations, because here at iHeart, we have eight radio stations all down this hallway. And it's going to be my goal to pick off host after host and introduce them to, to a hunting rookie camp where I can expose them to hunting, dove hunting. Now, that doesn't mean they have to hunt right away. Remember that. When you take a newbie, it can be, it could be anything. It could, it could be just, why don't you come along if you want? 
why don't you come along and see if you like it and then we can maybe put a shotgun in your hand if you like it, if not, no big deal. Or just come along and just hang out, right? Or just hunt right away, whatever it is. But make sure they know the four rules of firearm safety and then you are right as rain. Now, like I mentioned, it is a deal when you buy for an outdoorsman for Christmas. And we're rolling right into the weekend where well, it's on now for Christmas shopping. So the basics, the 101 of buying and asking outdoor products for Christmas, that's hour one. Remember hour two, former director of Arizona Game and Fish, Larry Voiles, will join us and answer a lot of questions. So glad you're with us. Thanks for being here. It is The Go Show.